Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today I'm going to be reviewing the LG Tone Free FN7, an upgraded version of their true wireless earbuds, now with a tasty bit of active noise cancellation thrown in for when you don't want to have to put up with all that crap going on all around you. Which to be fair in my case is pretty much just a couple of noisy crows perched outside my window as I'm sat here on my lonesome in my little studio. Boo and indeed who. But of course, when we all get back to commuting again, ANC will come in very handy indeed. You can grab the FN7s from this week from the usual suspects like Amazon here in the UK, and they will cost you £179. Now, of course, it's quite a tricky price point because that places them in the upper mid-range. So that's more expensive than the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. That's more expensive than the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. But of course, like previous tone-free iterations, the FN7s have a couple of little tricks up their sleeve to try and justify that higher price point, including that clever UV cleaning technique technology to kill off potentially harmful ear bacteria. Now, I've had these things lodged in my head for over a couple of weeks now, so here's my full in-depth LG Tone Free FN7 earbud review, and for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, like previous versions, you can grab the Tone Free FN7s in either white or black. And these earbuds are thankfully very compact and seriously light as well. They do have the stem style design similar to the AirPods, but thankfully they only protrude a little bit. They're not big, huge, dangly things that look absolutely ridiculous. I did find that the FN7s were perfectly comfortable to have lodged in my head for several hours at a time. You do get three different size of uh, silicone ear tips as well bundled in there, so you can find the size that's best for you. But I found that even when I did find the size that was best suited to my ear canals, they still tended to shift around quite a lot in my ears, just like previous versions of the Tone Free. I don't know if it's something to do with the material it's used or just the way that they're designed, but I just can't get them to sit absolutely still, especially when I'm walking at the same time. There's nothing too irksome, just means occasionally you have to sort of go like that. And the good news is that they're fully IPX4 water and sweat resistant as well, so that means absolutely fine if you're rocking them in your locals when you are in a bit of a rainstorm, if you're trying to work out down the gym, get a bit of a sweat on, as I obviously quite clearly do a lot. And I found that connecting to any of my Android devices was super Super, super straightforward. Basically, just open up the case. First time you're rocking the FN7s, just press this little button on the side and they'll immediately go into pairing mode. And I found that on my Android devices, I'll actually get a little message pop up saying, do you want to connect to the FN7s? Nice and simple, tap that, you're straight in. Otherwise, alternatively, you can just completely ignore that message, go into your Bluetooth settings and just pair up as usual through there. And I found that that Bluetooth connectivity stayed strong and stable the entire time I was testing out the FN7s. Even on those rare occasions when I was out and about, I didn't get any jitters or pauses, even when streaming high fidelity tracks. Now you've got a good bit of auto pause action with the FN7s as well, so yank one or both of the buds out of your lug holes when it's streaming music, podcasts, whatever it may be, and it will automatically pause what you're listening to. Really handy if you're listening to something somebody wants to speak at, you just quickly yank out a bud and it will pause whatever's going on. And sometimes it will auto resume your audio when you uh, bung your buds back in as well, although that's not always to be relied on. And as with the previous tone freeze, you've got full touch controls here on the FN7 as well, and they work in absolute delight. Even the multi-touch ones I found nice and intuitive, so just a single tap of either the left or the right will pause or play your audio. A double tap of the right one will raise the volume, a double tap of the left one will lower the volume. And you can also do a triple tap in order to skip forward or back a track. So that basically covers off all of the standard media controls and you can also answer calls and the likes using those touch controls as well. And the good news is as well, if you download the LG Tone Free app, which you can grab for free from the likes of the Google Play Store, then you can actually fully customize those controls to set them up exactly how you like. But of course, the main reason for grabbing the FN7s over previous versions of the Tone Free Buds is the fact that LG has added in that active noise cancellation, which makes them true rivals to the likes of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. Though that is also the main reason why the FN7s are so much more expensive than previous models. But the good news is that ANC is really effective. Once you find the proper size silicone tips to form a proper seal inside of your lug holes, I found that that did a really good job of dampening out any external noise like traffic and stuff like that. So you can listen to audiobooks and podcasts when you're out and about about a high street without having to bump the volume all the way up. And personally, I would say that that ANC is just as good as the Huawei FreeBuds Pro, and it's definitely better than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live because, of course, you've got that proper seal going on. And at any point, you can quickly and easily swap between ANC mode and what LG has dubbed the ambient mode, which is basically an awareness mode, simply by long pressing 
either of the buds and the ambient will basically just pump in external noise using those external mics so the exact opposite of ENC. Again that's an option if you don't want to be constantly yanking out buds to have a conversation or if you just want to like listen to an announcement or sort of make sure there's no traffic about to mow you over when you're going for a jog. Although I did find that I got a lot of hissing noise as well when I was using that ambient mode which was less than pleasant. And when it comes to the audio quality well the tone freeze have always been pretty solid in that respect. Once again LG has teamed up with British company Meridian and I was very pleased with the audio that was been pumped into my head. The FN7 definitely seem to have a little bit more bite when it comes to the lows compared with previous models although they're not exactly bass heavy so if you are a bass enthusiast I would say definitely try and look elsewhere and definitely stay away from that bass boost option in the LG Tone Free app as well because all it effectively does is dampen the rest of the range. The default immersive setting was definitely my favourite. I found with that the full range was covered off quite nicely. You had some nice sort of spatial sound. Definitely great for listening to music, audiobooks, podcasts, whatever you fancy. Oh and if you like to play it loud no problems there either these things can absolutely blast your eardrums to bits on those top volumes. And I also found that the call quality was absolutely fine even when out and about generally the other person's voice came through nice and clear and they said they had no problems picking up what I was trying to say as well even with plenty of background noise. But what about of course battery life was a key factor when it comes to the true wireless earbuds. Well I found that with a bit of mixed music and podcast playback I got around four hours of use out of the FN7s with the ANC turned on so not quite as good sadly as the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. If you knock the ENC off that battery life did jump up though to around sort of five and a half to six hours which is a lot more respectable. And when it comes time to juice the FN7s back up again just bung them back inside of the nifty little case and of course that is where the UV cleaning magic happens. It's a very funky effect with the blue light but this also has a purpose to kill a 99% of bacteria left on the buds in just 10 minutes apparently. And I've got to admit personally I've been using in-ear headphones for you know the best part of like three decades now and true wireless earbuds for a couple of years now I've never had any kind of ear lurgy or anything like that but if you're a proper germaphobe then you know job done and the case itself hasn't really changed up from previous versions of the torn free it's still just as lovable very dinky very compact quite light as well so very easy to slip into any kind of pocket bag whatever you get around two full charges of the buds from uh, this case itself which isn't as good as some rivals unfortunately you do have a handy battery indicator at the very least though when you pop open the lid that will tell you how much charge is in the bud so green means good if you close it up again it'll tell you how much charge is left in the case as you can see yellow there that means it's starting to run a little bit low and then red is dead and when the case itself is fully drained you can charge it back up again using a bit of type c usb actions the same as most phone chargers these days unless you've got one of those bloody iPhones otherwise you can power them back up wirelessly. So after using the LG Tone Free FN7s for a good couple of weeks now would I recommend them? Well they're definitely solid all round true wireless earbuds definitely pretty good sound quality fantastic ANC that is the main upgrade here of a previous version so if you like the LG Tone Freeze and you want a bit of ANC jump on board. Of course if you are looking for true wireless earbuds with ANC there are cheaper alternatives out there the likes of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro which I've also fully reviewed here on TechSpert so go check that out. The likes of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live as well although that ANC does already work with them because you don't have the proper seal. So anyway that's what I think what do you think definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below check out my other reviews of true wireless earbuds and please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone love you!